Go. I'm a Catholic sister. I'm a sister of St. Joseph of Carondelet, and I'm one of the few that goes to jail every week. But it's very routine. Uh, now when they announce that I'm there, the women call me the book lady. Oh, the book lady is here. We're going to read to our kids. Um, who are you going to read to? I'm going to read to my daughter Antoinette. Oh, how old? She's six years old. This? Now, what do you think she's going to do when she gets something she's, in the oh, mail? Oh, she's going to be so excited to hear from me. To hear my voice, it'll help ease the pain a little bit of me being away. Thank you. This is the book you want? Yes. How are your pipes? <coughs> are they ready to go? They're ready to go. Okay. Honey, you want to come over to the recording studio? The best part of my piece in being a, a part of Bedtime Story is the welcome that I get from those moms. Um, everyone else that comes into jail is either a lawyer or a guard or someone like that, but I'm someone that's a personal touch with their children. Hello, Antoinette. It's Mommy. You know, it's been hard having me away from home recently, but hopefully this will help you. You can listen to Mommy every night. I'm going to read you a book. It's called David's Little Indian. I started nine years ago with Project Bedtime Story when I realized that when a mother is incarcerated, the whole family is. And so the point is to get the mother and the child connected again. Day of the bright green tree. Day of the moon in the day. Day of the little blue dish. I realized that uh, that bond between a mother and a child goes way beyond bars. Let their blood mingle together. Now what day it is for you? is the day it is for me. From then on, they didn't have to talk to each other. Each almost knew what I the other I think, was if nothing else, if during that time of incarceration, a woman can really look inside and, where can I be a better mother? How can I be a stronger influence on my child? And be more aware of what kind of parent they want to be when they're reunited with their children again. I think the best thing for the child is that number one, mom still loves them and mom said it on the tape and I can play that tape over and over and keep hearing that mom still loves me very much and she misses me and uh, even though they're separated, that love of a mother for her child, uh, the bars, the cement walls doesn't keep it out. And I feel privileged that I'm the one that becomes the link putting the two of them together again. And it was spring again, so they made up a song. It was a wonderful life. The life of the boy and his Indian, and they grew up and never missed a day. Good night, Antoinette. Mommy loves you, and I'll be home soon. I love you too, Mommy.